Hi, I'm glad you've tuned in. Today, we're looking at a topic that everyone who uses social media should know about. We are talking about dark social. In this video, we'll explain what it is and what it means for your accounts on Instagram, LinkedIn and other platforms. So stay tuned. Before we really dive into the topic, let's clarify what the term dark social is all about. We talk about dark social or dark traffic when activities on websites, blogs and other platforms cannot be retraced clearly by using tracking tools. But why is this so important? That's pretty easy to explain. Dark social accounts for a much higher proportion of all website traffic than, for example, traceable social shares. To understand this more clearly, here's a very practical example of how dark social works. Imagine you place an ad on LinkedIn. Someone recognizes this ad and visits your profile. Your offer seems interesting to that person, but they simply don't need it at the moment. After a while, however, this situation changes. The person remembers your business and Googles your website. In your tracking tool, for example Google Analytics, this process appears as part of the organic Google search. There is no connection with the ad. By the way, this principle not only works for ads, but also for organic content. This means that dark social affects us all because it's based on the fundamental principle of social media, the interaction with other users. In the end, we use LinkedIn, Instagram and other platforms to reach other users. But the customer journey here is not always straightforward. Nevertheless, you can massively boost the reach and visibility of your business via social media. You should just let go of the idea that you can measure the resulting traffic on a one-to-one -one basis. However, even if this traffic cannot be tracked completely, you can at least understand to what extent the phenomenon dark social plays a role in your content. Google Analytics, for example, offers the acquisition section under Reports. There you can click on Overview to access the newly generated traffic. Here, the tool shows how visitors reach your website. The direct item is particularly interesting in this context. This is where all traffic that Google cannot clearly assign ends up. It is therefore an obvious conclusion that a large proportion of this is dark traffic. You also have a few options for researching dark traffic in the social media sector. On LinkedIn, for example, you can activate creator mode. With the web analysis tools that are available to you, you should take a look at the number of profile views. Especially when it comes to ads, interested users often visit the corresponding profile. On YouTube, you can find this information under Access Source. Another way to better understand where your traffic is coming from is the use of UTM parameters for your links. With these code snippets at the end of a URL, you can track the number of clicks on a link in your channels and who has followed it. Google's campaign URL builder helps you to create them correctly. This little excursion into the world of dark social will hopefully help you to better understand what's going on in your online channels. That way, you'll have a much better chance of engaging with potential customers and like-minded people. If you liked the video, I would be very happy about a thumbs up and if you hit the bell, you won't miss any more videos. See you next time!